Hello, and welcome to the 741 channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today we're going to take a look at this ICOM IC2100 2-meter transceiver. Actually, what we're going to really look at is the microphone. This is an HM98 microphone that comes with the radio. The problem with this microphone is that the push-to-talk switch is no longer working. It's been slowly degrading over the last week or two, and now it's at the point where pushing it has absolutely no effect on the radio. It appears that all of the other buttons on the microphone are working just fine, as you may be able to see there as I press them. So it seems like the problem is just confined to the push-to-talk switch. Either something is wrong with the switch itself, or the mechanics involved in activating the switch. So let's take this down to the bench, take it apart, and see what we see. It looks like there's just two screws here holding the microphone together. Here's a look at the inside of the microphone. You can see there's just one main board with a connector on this end and the push-to-talk switch up here. So from the looks of it, the mechanics are working. You can see that when I push this in, it's activating the switch. You can probably hear it as well. So let's take this off of here and take a closer look at the switch. Taking a closer look at the switch, you can see that it's just a surface mount device soldered right on the board. So behind the switch, it looks like there's just this rubber block that's glued onto the circuit board. And it looks like the purpose of this block is to hold the switch from being popped off the board and pushed this way. So it seems like maybe this is where we should look. In other words, there's probably bad solder joints here on the switch. And I'm guessing that when you push on the push to talk switch, it's lifting the front of the switch up just a tiny bit and breaking the connection up here. Since the radio is semi-permanently mounted in my Tahoe, I thought it would be easier just to bring this back out here and do a little test. What I'm going to do is try and activate the switch with this pencil and just see if the radio key is that way. And you may be able to see there in the background it's not doing anything. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my thumb on the switch and push the button with this pencil and let's see if the radio keys up now. And as you saw, it seemed like it keyed up just fine. So I think that pretty much confirms that we're dealing with bad solder joints, probably one or the other of these two front ones, but I'll re-tack all of them and see if it fixes things. So I was taking a look at this, and this leg of the switch is kind of close to the side plastic of the microphone. So to make things a little easier, I think I'm going to pull the board out of the microphone. To do that, it looks like there's just one, two, three screws holding it into the back plastic. So let's pull those out and see if the board will come out. Okay, so we want to be careful not to lose the keypad or any of that, so I'm going to set that aside. So here's a quick look at the back of the board. You can see all the footprints for the buttons, and there are a few very small components on the back of here so you want to be careful you don't pop those off if you're doing this yourself you want to be make sure you don't slide this around on your bench or bang into it with anything that could knock those components off of there hopefully you guys can see this but it looks like the problem is a poor solder joint on the lead of the switch that is right there at the end of the pencil so it looks like when the board was first manufactured the solder did wet to the lead but it didn't wet properly so over time, there's probably developed just a tiny little crack in there. Using the push-to-talk switch has aggravated it, and it's now got to the point where that crack has caused it to no longer make connection to the board. So let's just reflow this solder joint, and uh, well, we'll touch them all up while we're here, but let's uh, do this one in particular and see if it solves the problem. So first up, I'm going to put just a small amount of flux on here. So I'm going to take the soldering iron and just touch these joints up first and then have a look at them. And then if they still look a little starved for solder, I'll put a tiny bit on. So 
you probably can't see it in the camera, but they do look a little bit starved. So I'm going to try and add just a tiny amount of solder, especially to the one that I think is bad. Now I'm just going to clean this up with some alcohol. Okay, let's let that dry a little bit and then reassemble the mic and see what happens. Here's a look at the switch after I've soldered it. Now you can see it's not the prettiest thing in the world. Probably won't meet IPC soldering specifications, but it should fix the problem. So now it's time to reassemble the microphone. So the microphone is now reassembled. It feels like it's working okay. It sounds like it's working okay. So let's bring it out to the radio and check it and see if this solved the problem. Okay, so we're back out in my Chevy Tahoe at the radio. So let's plug in the mic, turn on the radio, and see if this works. Okay, so the moment of truth has arrived. Will it work or will it not work? Let's find out. All right, looks like we solved the problem. So it looks like the bad solder joint was the culprit. Anyway, it seems like the problem is solved, so I'm back on the air when I'm mobile in my Chevy Tahoe. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, I'd appreciate you giving me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. Thanks for watching.